Nasty. We out here. What's going on? Nasty, man. Every yeah. time I hear you flow, man, it's like, I think that's my must be where the name came from. Yeah, it is. It's nasty flow. Yeah, it is, it is, it is. It's kind of like uh, the Nigerian producer, Killer Tunes. Mm. He, his friend was listening to some of the beats he'd made. Yeah. And it was almost run over by a car. They're like, yo, man, your beats almost killed me. So it's like, yo, it. killer beats, killer, killer tunes. tunes. Yeah. That's so, wild. Yeah, same thing. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's wild. All man. these stories where you hear, man. So yeah. who did you kill with your with your with your rhymes? Actually with me oh. it was it was it was a guy I looked up to recording me, right? Uh -huh. But I, I was there for a session the other day and I got there a little early and he was still recording someone else, one of his other homies. Uh -huh. And I was fairly new. I think it must have been like my fifth time at his studio. But I was oh, wow. young, young, young. Yeah. I'm like 12, 13 at the time. Oh, so you started rhyming at 12? Yeah. 13? Yeah. Oh, wow. Started at nine. Yeah, yeah. I get there <laughs> okay. and he's like, yo, this is a nasty cat right here. He's a nasty. And he just start talking. And my name was Man J at the time. And there was a lot of guys who were like Man K, Man Z, and stuff like that. And I was like, all right, you know what? I'm just going to take that one. Nasty cat. Then I was like, ah, maybe I dropped the cat. And I just say nasty C. Like ah, nice, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, see, some of some of these uh, big, big names and big personality names come yeah. from the most unexpected places. Yeah, man. So, right now, when you write, mm -hmm. what, how, how do you even start? Because you have been rapping for so long. Is uh, there anything left for you to rap about? <laughs> it is, man. I'm, I mean, I'm still growing. I'm still getting to travel. You yeah. know what I mean? It's uh, a blessing. I'm still getting to travel, experience a lot of things. A lot of changes are going are happening in my life right now. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I have a lot of stuff to write about, man. Uh -huh. A lot of stuff. And, and when you approach a song now, what, what, what entices you with hip-hop? Because it's funny. Yeah. Some might think you're fairly new. Yeah. And recent because right. you keep it fresh. Yeah. But you've been in the game since you were nine. Yeah. So really. yeah, that's well, a, in the, in the game. <laughs> I'd say seventeen. Yeah. Yeah. When I, that's when that's when I started getting active in the game. Yeah, but I think you you need to put in the grind years as yeah. well, man. Because yeah, yeah, you yeah. were grinding okay. to get there. Yeah. So facts, I'm just facts, thinking, facts. man. You've been you've been working. You've been putting in the work. Yeah. Facts. So I mean, when you're approaching the scene now, when yeah. you're approaching a song, you know everything. Mm. How are you approaching it now? Now. um you have I your guess, business I guess, hat on? I guess we'll start. <laughs> nah, nah, I like to. I like to think about the business later, man. Okay. I don't like, yeah, I don't. I don't like it getting in the way of like my creativity. So when I get in there, first of all, the first thing we have to get right is the beat, right? The beat has to speak to me, has to say something to me, mm -hmm. and invite me to to get creative on it. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as we're there, I guess we'll we'll try and figure out the melody, like what sounds mm -hmm. like it fits on this beat and like it belongs on this beat. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we'll start building like the hook. You know, sometimes I might start with the verse because it's just it inspired me to say something now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, and I'll just start with the start with the verse. But most times it'll be like, all right, what's the hook for this? Just so it, it, it sets the tone, mm -hmm. and then I work around that and I just build and build and build. Do you ever get vulnerable and just lay some of your feelings on wax? Yes, yeah. allow yourself. Oh to yeah, a lot. To, a lot to man. connect with the fans yeah, yeah yeah a lot that's, and that's actually what I've been doing a lot of lately when I'm by myself like in the studio I just like to write a, a lot about like my, my personal experiences now usually when, I, when I'm when i in the studio I'm just like getting creative trying to come up with something new that's interesting for everyone to <laughs> shout when I'm on stage type of vibe <laughs> yeah. but like now I'm like I'm really you know looking inwards man mm -hmm. trying, to, trying to write about something that's like very 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 true and personal trying yeah. to open up yeah, yeah and, I, and I saw you know rappers from South from Africa are mm. kind of the first ones who started dancing and having a vibe not not just being yeah. serious hands in the air right? yeah, do, you, yeah, yeah. do you sometimes bust a move Oh yeah, when yeah, I'm by myself. Saying? When I'm by myself, yeah, because then I'm not embarrassing myself in front of anyone. You know what I mean? It's just me and there. It's fine. There's no footage that's gonna leak or nothing like that. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm, a ter I'm a terrible dancer though, so I don't dance in front of people. Okay, so so yeah. what's next? What's next? I know you're cooking up, you know, cooking up yeah. a storm. We're we're looking forward to hearing the stuff yeah, that you're cooking. What what's what's this new sound of your sounding? Man, like? it's it's matured. Obviously, you know. Um, I think it's way more relatable, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and that's not even, yeah, I guess it is a point. Yeah, way more uh, relatable. It feels very real, um, you know, 
I'm really taking my time with this album too. Like I've been working on it for quite a while, mm-hmm. you know, and and traveling also. We're getting to hear new sounds and get inspired in different ways. So while we're here, we're working almost every single day. Mm-hmm. We're recording, um, going back home and locking in for a full month, trying to bring in my favorite guys from here, from the states, okay, to nice. come to come back home and mix up with with some of my producers from back at home. Mm-hmm. And we're just gonna be at a house for like a month and just try and, and you know, take yeah. it to the to the finish line. And nice. And then yeah. be, uh, before we let you go, you know. You're one of the few cats from the motherlands have been signed to a legendary yeah. label. How are you all these things falling, all these things falling in yeah. line, man? How does that feel, man? That's feels like amazing, the man. biggest, yeah, it feels amazing. High five, you know, you see these logos in, in your favorite music videos growing up <laughs> as a kid at the end. You know, MTV Base will show you the, yeah. the, the record label, the title, yeah, yeah, and all that yeah. kind of stuff, yeah, You're like Def Jam, <laughs> yeah, wild, man. It's, it's yeah. wild, yeah, yeah. So when they reached out, I was like, yo, I was excited, I was like, all right, this is really happening now, you know, because mm-hmm. the, the, the dream and the goal is always to go global. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean And then when you get A little bit of success You get content sometimes You're like I, I, I run Africa I run this I run it When it comes to hip hop But now when, when they reach out On that on that scale It's like oh snap Now it's really really happening mm-hmm. So yeah it's a blessing man yeah. blessing. And, and yeah. what, what do you think They brought to the table That, that made you really Expand your game The opportunities More than anything You know Just being able to say Yo I really hear and I can say a ridiculous name. I say I hear Rihanna on this song, and they were like, "All right, we'll try." Okay. It. <laughs> oh, wow. But you know, it's a possibility. You know, it's yeah, not just exactly. a dream. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah man. Oh, nice. That's the most important thing for me, anyways. Yeah, nice. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you you got your ear to the ground. You were once an up and coming artist. Is anybody yeah. we should be looking out for right now in SA? Oh, there's a lot, man. Yeah. The one guy I was gonna say, he's already he's already making crazy moves. I think he's even he's in the states right now doing yeah. like a promo thing. Yeah. Uh, Blackie, one of my favorites. Oh, Blackie! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. You know With the I mean? X. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. My Blackie. boy Blackie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see. There's there's a there's a lot of others, man. There's K Key. There's also coming up. There's a girl called Anika from Cape Town. She sings. She's also sick, man. Yeah. Uh, there's so many, man. D D Koala. Yeah, there's so many. Yeah, uh, they, there's, there's a guy called Maglera Doughboy. Yeah, I really, really mess with like the way he he approaches his music. Uh-huh. He's very poetic, very smart guy, but he's a hood guy. So when people see him, they just expect him to say the most typical <laughs> hood stuff. Hood stuff, yeah. He's that. very smart, man. And when you listen to his music, it's like it's very poetic. Uh-huh. You know, so so he'll be he'll be shocking the world too. Yeah, pretty soon the delivery. Yeah. So yeah, how can people follow you on the socials, bro? All my socials is at nasty underscore csa at nasty underscore csa. And and the gaming. <laughs> the gaming is Ivy Sun. I'm very glad you mentioned that one. The gaming <laughs> is Ivy Sun Gaming. I V Y S O N Gaming. All one word, man. Yeah, gaming. So get to follow the kid, man. His this project yeah. is coming. This guy's doing it, man. So I'm gonna play this Thank track. You, yeah. What inspired this track? Heartbreak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, heartbreak and just feel like you know you're not appreciated in the relationship. Like you're putting in more than the other person when it's supposed to be fifty fifty and this is like ah what what are we doing here, my love? You what know? are we doing? Is this a real story? Real story, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Is she kicking herself now? She probably is. <laughs> she probably is. Things are going well for me now, you know. <laughs> She made it onto the wax. She made it onto wax, though. Yeah, man. Yeah. I like to say, man, Nyabonga Baba. Ah, Thank you. Nah, absolutely. Thank you so pleasure. much absolute for making pleasure, the time, man. Hope everything is successful. We'll be looking at what you're doing. Thank you. Man, hope we get to premiere some of those tracks when they come out, bro. Yes, yes. We'll be waiting to, you know, press the button, man. Of course, man. Nasty season in the building, people. Destination Africa. Let's go.